The religion clause of the Constitution allows Americans to practice their own faith without having a state religion. And the words are engraved on this museum where people at a conference are considering whether they should apply to other countries. Many here believe the clause embodies a universal principle. In a way, the defense of religious freedom is the defense of what it means to be a human being. Katrina lantos Sweat chairs a government agency which annually publishes maps identifying what it says are the world's worst violators of religious freedom. If we can encourage and persuade countries to sort of wrap their heads around the idea that we need to do a better job creating that kind of safe public space where people of all faiths are free peacefully and without fear and openly to, to practice their beliefs, that will enable those countries on a host of fronts to build more tolerant and stable societies. But not everyone in Washington sees it that way. A critical view of the religious freedom effort is being put forward at this Policy Research Institute. And I actually do situate this current U.S. programming as the latest in a long series of American efforts to promote uh, U.S. strategic and U.S. economic interests abroad, in part through social and religious engineering. Political scientist Elizabeth Shackman Hurd says there's a double standard. We see ourselves as having achieved religious freedom. It's something that we have. But when it comes to other people, we need to sort of manage it. We need to teach them to be tolerant. We need to reform them. We have everybody in the sort of foreign affairs establishment is working to create tolerant religious people overseas, which is something that the government paradoxically would never do at home. That's because the constitutional clause bans it, she says. Other critics say religious freedom is a Western concept that can be disruptive for some societies. To the President of the United States, President Visiting an evangelical church in Myanmar, U.S. Ambassador for Religious Freedom David Saperstein asked about alleged violations there. If the government would actually wouldn't see people, separate people as uh, different categories, like they just treat people as citizens, mm -hmm. citizens that identity of citizenship should, should come first. What she says also happens to be more or less what the U.S. Constitution says. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.